So today we have one heck of a delicious recipe. Like seriously, this is the kind of food to truly get excited about. We're talking Spanish garbanzo beans with eggs. Now this is a dish that's perfect for a beautiful weekend breakfast, yet it's bold enough for an elegant dinner. Let me tell you, either way you go, the flavors here are mind-blowing delicious. The recipe is truly above and beyond easy to make, and it's all done in under 30 minutes, folks. Serve this next to a crunchy baguette and a refreshing mimosa for the ultimate experience. All right, let's just dive right into this recipe. I'm gonna grab a large fry pan, Heat it with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. Now the vegetables I'm going to use to make this recipe are the ones that are most commonly used when you're making Spanish garbanzo beans, onions, garlic, bell peppers, and tomatoes. Of course, you can mix it up and use whatever vegetables you want or whatever you have on hand. After heating the olive oil for about two minutes, I'm going to add in one small onion that I finely diced one small green bell pepper that I finely chopped, one small red bell pepper that I finely chopped, and four cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix this continuously, that way the vegetables don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about five minutes, and all the vegetables are lightly sauteed, and the onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 2.30 grams, and half a teaspoon of ground cumin, which is one gram. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way those spices are evenly coating the vegetables. Then I'm gonna add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 115 grams, and we'll give this a mix and simmer that tomato sauce for a couple minutes. Now the tomato sauce that I'm using, for those of you that follow me here on Spain on a Fork, you know that I make it by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but as always, you can also use canned tomato sauce here or even pasata. After simmering the tomato sauce for about three minutes, and as you can see, it's slightly thickened up, it's time to add in the garbanzo beans. I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of cooked garbanzo beans, which is 400 grams and we'll season everything with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a gentle mix, that way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. And once again, remember to be gentle here, otherwise you can easily break those garbanzo beans apart. Now the garbanzo beans that I'm using come from a jar, which is the same thing as the canned ones, and I did add them into a sieve beforehand and rinse them under some cold running water. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna add in a generous half cup of vegetable broth, which is 125 milliliters. The broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the description box below and iCard above. And we'll give this one final mix. That way everything's evenly mixed together. Then we'll lower the fire from a medium heat to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer this for about five minutes. That way all the flavors can develop. In the meantime, let's get the eggs ready. I'm gonna be using some cage-free organic eggs, but you can use whatever eggs you like. And before I add them into the pan, I like to crack them into individual bowls. This ensures that when we add the eggs into the pan, that the egg yolks are not broken and that no egg shells go in there. After simmering the garbanzo beans for about five minutes and all the flavors have developed, it's time to add in the eggs. I always like to create a little pocket in the mixture that when you add the egg, it perfectly sits in there. And we'll season the eggs with a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll place a lid on the pan. And we're gonna simmer this with the lid on between three to four minutes. This is enough time for those egg whites to fully cook through and for those egg yolks to still have a beautiful creamy texture. After about four minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan and look how beautiful this turned out. And as you can see, the egg whites are nice and firm and the egg yolks still nice and creamy. At this point, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat 
and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped scallions. Check it out, our Spanish garbanzo beans with eggs is done. So easy to make, such a beautiful presentation, and the aromas coming out of it are truly mind-blowing delicious. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Seriously, look how beautiful this turned out. Here we go. It's the kind of dish that makes you want to dance because it is so good. But seriously though, that paprika with the cumin works so well with, uh, with the chickpeas, all the vegetables in there, and the eggs beautifully cooked. You saw this very easy to make, made with the simplest ingredients, and it's done in just under 30 minutes. Give this a try at home, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, doesn't matter when because the flavors are mind-blowing good. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener, Martin John Madsen, Jesper Haloum, Jim Owens, and Joan Killico. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support Spain on a Fork, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.